helping prepare students for bright futures. That's the goal of a new summit on paid internships to support youth and ultimately reduce crime. Now that summit is happening today. Our Deirdre Fitzpatrick joins us with more on this event and program. So this morning we're joined by the man who's actually hosting the summit today, State Superintendent Tony Thurman. Thanks for coming in today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. This is an interesting program. You haven't done it on a statewide basis, but it has been done in smaller communities where students, teenagers, have an opportunity to have a paid internship yes. um, that hopefully inspires them to make some different choices. Why has it worked in the smaller communities? Well, if you look at the data, career pathways mean students do better when they're learning about pathways and they have access to the chance to earn and learn. We want to grow that on a statewide basis. You know, school districts have done this for years, but we're saying let's do this on a statewide basis, get students ready for their future, and address some of the spikes in crime that we've seen by giving alternative opportunities to young people. So, bring it down to a really basic level. You're yeah. going to go into a community and you're going to look for kids who you think are at risk for what and offer them what? Well, at the start, we're going to offer any young person who wants a paid internship the chance to have that. But we will work with community-based organizations that can identify youth who may need more help, who may be at greater risk for making the wrong kind of choices, but we will make this available to any young person who's looking for an opportunity. Why is the money part of it so critical? Like, what is it that that does that maybe turns on something in a kid's brain? A lot of reasons. If Think about this economy. Most people in California are struggling, um, and a lot of young people have to make choices. I would rather someone make a choice to earn money in a legitimate way that's safe than to make a choice to rob or steal or get involved in a choice that will hurt them and harm them for the rest of their lives and maybe hurt someone in our community. We think the chance in earning and learn at the same time makes all the difference for our youth. What's the education component? How do you also kind of push the, the school part of it and hopefully college for a lot of these kids who maybe might not have thought about that as being a path? Well, the school part is that you learn about different pathways. It's not just, okay, here's some money and just go do anything. It's about learning about career opportunities that a lot of young people would not otherwise know about that. Some of those will be college bound and some of those won't be. Today we'll be talking about the uh, trades and apprenticeship training mm -hmm. programs. We'll be talking about... Which we have so many openings in right now. Lots of openings, lots of openings. We'll talk about STEAM jobs, technology jobs. Really it's really whatever is that interest for that young person and we want to give them the opportunity. So who's taking part in this? You've got some city agencies, state agencies. Yes. We've got uh, some mayors, uh, the mayor of Sacramento, uh, the mayor of Los Angeles. Uh, we've got state agencies that focus on youth employment, um, some foundations. Um, there's a space for anybody who wants to be a part of it, and we welcome the, them to be in this effort. And what kinds of jobs do you anticipate kids doing? Like, would this be during the school year? Is it a summer thing? Is it maybe both? It could be both. It could be after school. Uh, a lot of times, students are in career pathways where they learn about healthcare jobs, about technology. We see a lot of jobs in the STEAM area because there's a lot of growth and we want to promote right. that. Um, again, they can learn about the apprenticeship training programs. They can learn about law enforcement, health care. Um, we really want them to be fired up about okay. opportunities. Speaking of jobs, you've yeah. kind of put your hat in the ring for another job. <laughs> in a couple of years, you've put your name out for governor. I have. Um, I'll be terming out of this position and uh, my mission is to serve uh, this state. It's a great state, but it can get better. And um, I still have three and a half years to be working on what we're doing to improve education in this state, but I'd like to have more time to serve the people of California. Did you give any thought to putting your name in for senator? That position's open now. Not at all. Um, okay. I'm very focused on what I can do for California, in California. We've got to address our homelessness. We have 200,000 homeless students, the lack of affordable housing, and of course, crime and safety. I'm focused on what we do right here in California for California. Good luck with the internship program. We'll have information. If you know a student who you think would be a good fit for something like this, we'll have that information on our website a little later today. Hope you guys get a lot done brainstorming today. Thank you.